hello everyone you're welcome back to this video uh, in this video we want to be looking at just one thing decimal places so decimal places we're talking about rounding a number to a particular number of decimal places as so we want to look at we, we considering the digits after the decimal point in this case so just like when you have uh, 3.219 Seven. So decimal place is here. The first part here is O number. O number. Why the other part here is what decimal decimal part. So this decimal point. Now, so the question now is how many decimal how many decimals do we have after this decimal point four? So which means this number itself is into what? Four decimal places. Or DP. So they can ask us to reduce this to two decimal places or one decimal place. So that's what we are going to learn in this uh, class. So, by the way, let's use this as an example. So, round this, round. Round 3.2197 to 1, 1 dp, 2, 2 dp, and 3, 3 dp. So, understanding of what we have tweeted before, running off number, we also help it in this case. So, in solving this, in solving this, in solving the first one, which is 3.2197. So we want to run this to, to 1 dp. 1 dp, that is a digit after the decimal point, which means we're stopping at 2. Okay. We're stopping at this 2. So that means we consider the next digit, which is 1. And one was under round down because it's less than five. So we add nothing to what two here. In that case, the answer will be three point two towards one DP. How that scale? The second part three point two one nine seven. So two DP. So this is the first DP. This is second DP. So which means we're stopping at one here. We consider the next digit, which is what nine. And nine falls under what round up. Which means we are going to add one to this one. So the answer will then be three point two two. So this is what to two dp. The third one is this three point two one nine seven two. Three decimal places. This is the first one, second one, third one. Good. So in this case, what are we going to do? We consider the next digit, which is seven. And seven falls under what? Falls under round up, which means we are adding one to this. We add this plus one. Good. We have to break up here. We are adding one to this one. That gives this one we turn towards ten. So, and we can write down 10, we write, because 10 has two digits. So, in that case, we write 0. So, it remains what? 1. That one will be carried to the next digit before it. We carry it to the next digit. Plus 1 again, this will be what? 2. And what do we have here? 2.3. So, this is to what? 3 dp. I know you asked me that you said that 0 at the end of decimal point is used. Yes. But this row we have to put it there because it is we are running to 3 dp. We must have three digits after the what decimal point. Hope that is clear. You know, I said that even if you put it, it should not affect your answer. You still get the same uh, result. So still the same thing. So you put you have to leave the zero there. Hope that is clear. That is that on decimal places. Then the next thing we move to significant figures. Alright, so significant figures. So what, what was the meaning of significant figures? Significant figures is trying to let us know which 
of uh, digits are significant. That is, if you look at a number, you should be able to determine, okay, this digit is significant here. Removing it, you change the total value of, of that uh, number. For example, if I should have uh, 502, right? 502, and I put 0 here, right? So this means 5,000 out of 20. If I should remove this 0, what will happen? The value of the number has been reduced, which is very wrong. So in that case, that will return it. So this is ascending to 5,002, uh, 5,020, right? So with me, the 0 here is significant. This 0 is also significant. But there are some, there are some uh, particular statements. 0 will, not be, it will be insignificant. Let's look at this. If I have um, 0 points or 10 points, 1, 2, 0. Now, 0 at the end of decimal point is insignificant. I think I made mention of it here. So this, this 0 here is insignificant. But the 0 here is what's significant because it is at the middle of two significant figures. So significant figures is talking about digits that are countable, that we can count. That's something that it is it is natural number you understand so if removing it will affect its naturality so if i should remove one it will affect the number if i should remove this it will affect the value of the number but if i should remove this zero here it won't affect it if i should remove this zero, it will affect it if i should remove it it turns to one point that which is less than 10. so that is what we refer to as significant word here so why do we not ask to find to write a number to a particular significant figure. What are we going to do? Let's look at example. Example. Rant. Let me give examples. So rant the following. Rant the following to two. Significant figure. Two significant figures. So the first one we have one two eight point let's add two. Let's say one, then two, three, SF. Let's put Okay, the other two we have zero point zero zero four eight seven two. Good. So well, let's look at these two. So these two should be able to solve all problems uh, under significant figures. Now, this is the first one. We have one to one thousand two hundred and fifty four. You want to run this to significant figures. All the digits here are significant, right? So the first digit, the first digit will be the first significant figure. So this is the first significant figure. This is the second significant figure. This is the third one. This is the fourth one. And the person asks us to run this to two SF, three SF. So this is first, two, three, four. So running into two SF significant figures, we start at this. We start at two, then we rule our line. Do the same rule. The same rule. So the next digit to two is eight, which is above five. So which means we're going to run this up. So we then have we had one to this, that would then be one, three. So the remaining two digits turn towards zero, zero. So this is two S F. That means we have two digits, two significant digits, which is one, two. That's what it means. So the remaining turns towards zero. All that is clear. Good. So the second one here, so like this is A, this is B, this is A. So 
then we have figure 2 here will be 1,284 to 2 SF to 3 SF this first, second, third then average so we are rounding this up or down so we consider 4 the next digit is 4 and 4 is less than 5 we round down so we have nothing to do that gives us 1, 2, 8 then this will change to what? 0 as we have changed this one to 0, 0, 0 so that is 3SF. I believe this is very clear. Right? So we then move to this B part. The B part is the. the Alright, the B part. The B part here. We have changed this to 2SF and 3SF. We have 0 0.0048. Seven two. Now, zero at the beginning of a number. Zeros at the beginning of a number are useless, are insignificant. All these numbers are not significant. Is that clear? So they are not significant. In that case, the first significant digit here is what four. This is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third, and this is the what? The fourth one. So the, where we have to rank to is to two significant figures. So two significant figures here will then be. Let's have this. We want to go one zero point zero zero four eight seven two. So two significant figures means we're going to stop at this. The first one, second one, we stop at this. So next digit to it is what? 7. And 7 falls under what? Round up. We add 1 to this. So our answer will then give us uh, 0.0049. This will mean two digits will be what? Removed. They will be ignored. So if you put 0, 0 at the end, it's still, it's still correct. But it's advanced that you just remove it. You don't need to not significant. So you notice one thing here that I said zero zero and not significant, but I still have it as part of my answer. If you fail to put it, what you're going to have is 49. Are you telling me that this will be equal to 49? Because we are trying to approximate, this is under approximation. We are approximating that this is equivalent to this. So are we saying that 0 0.004872 is equivalent to 49? No. That is this one. This, these zeros are the beginning. We see how to put them because this number on its own is less than what one. I believe that is clear to you. All right, good. Then we look at second one. That is to two S F. Um, the second one is rounding it to to three S F. That's zero point zero zero four eight seven two. So this is the first S F. Second, third, do the same thing. So the next digit is less than 5. We round down. So in that case, this we add nothing to this. And answer will then be everything here by and moving this down to 0 0.00487. So that is 3SF. How this is clear, we have to do those things to decimal places and significant figures. So this is where we're going to stop in this video. And um, next one, we move to the next one on our content. So if you find this uh, this video useful and helpful, so give, give us uh, this thumb a very big one. Then subscribe if you have not subscribed. You can share the video with your loved ones. And then don't forget to come back and watch the next video. So we miss the next one. Thank you.